they finally made it. After years of testing multiple suction cup systems, most of them being unstable, difficult to adjust, and sometimes not even reliable, we now have a solid setup from Insta360. Okay, let me just briefly go over all the various suction cup mounts and systems that I've tried over the past couple years. Starting with the PGY Tech suction cup mount. Pretty basic mount. When I got my very first Insta360 camera back in 2020, I believe, uh, this was it. There was really no other option available at the time. You just mount the selfie stick onto the quarter inch thread right here. There's two ball joints and an adjustment lever here. That's pretty much it. You just mount it on like so, tighten it. Not very secure. The G-forces it won't be able to handle due to the nature of ball joints. And I even ended up snapping the thread at one point. Okay, moving on, we have the PGY Tech triple suction cup mount. I guess it's an improvement if we're talking about the number of suction cups, but at the end of the day, it's still mounted with uh, one quarter inch thread, and it still has ball joints that I don't really trust. Just mount it like that, tighten it. It is an improvement, but the footage is still a little bouncy. All right, moving on. I experimented with this Ulanzi suction cup. It's much larger, it's meant for DSLRs, and it uses a pump mechanism, so the suction is uh, much stronger. There's a bunch of different threaded holes. We have a 3 8 thread here, and a quarter inch to three eighths adapter thread. So we thread that on and the stick goes directly into the cup. Yeah, very strong, but at the end of the day, if this thread fails and it snaps off, the whole thing's just gone. Next up, we have another DIY method two suction cups. The first cup will act as your base and has a quarter inch thread. Now we have a secondary suction cup, a clamp. It has a quarter inch thread on the bottom. Now this is going to act as your support. And we're gonna adjust to our liking, attach the clamp, tighten both, and yeah. This has been a viable option. However, it does take quite some time to set up and it might not work on every single car. You might have a giant wing in the way or you just might not have enough surface area on the trunk. And uh, is a pretty good option until now that we have the Insta360 suction cups. So let's go ahead and check those out. So here is the newly released Insta360 dual slash triple suction cup car mount. Designed in collaboration with the hugely experienced suction cup producers, Tilta, it features an all metal base with a carbon fiber telescopic support rod for maximum stability. Also new is the lightweight and stronger carbon fiber selfie stick. So this isn't simply a stick that just goes onto three suction cups. All components of this design work in tandem with each other. And once set up and tightened, you have an extremely rigid mount that I'm not afraid to trust. What I like about the design is that it's easy to swap between a triple or dual suction cup setup. It's nice to use the dual mount if you're going for a simpler setup or if space just doesn't allow. However, I would recommend using the triple mount most if not all the time if you can. Everything is very intuitive and you can pretty much adjust everything you need for all situations. It's also very easy to mount and unmount the entire system. Each cup has a quick release that takes literal seconds to remove. Okay, we are on the way to our buddy Shane's house. He's gonna let me film his WX STI. Super cool looking car. We're gonna test out the suction cups. We're also gonna be filming the rest of the video with the new Insta360 GO 3. Super small camera. Whoa, is that the Insta360 GO? Go 3. <gasps> the Go 3? I heard that thing can really withstand certain weather conditions and super tiny. Yeah, and we're reviewing the footage. Right, live view right now. Oh my god. Oh, that's me. I'm tired. <laughs> 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 Make it a thing where you just put on the board. You say one? Yeah. Nice. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! He scraped it, bro. <laughs> oh my god. 
Alright, so setup is super simple. Everything is disassembled here, so obviously once you set up the mount for the first time, you can leave it assembled to save yourself time. So I just put together the metal base. Don't tighten all the way, since you want to be able to adjust the angle later. Now I'm putting the suction cup onto the telescoping support rod. I really love the adjustment you can get with this. It makes a huge difference versus my DIY method. Now I'm inserting the selfie stick into the base, tighten all the way, and we can now stick it on the vehicle. Pump, pump, pump. Uh, make sure everything's centered. Pump, pump, pump. All right, make sure it's not going anywhere. So because we left everything loose, we can adjust the correct angle we want now. Once you're happy, tighten everything, grab the support rod, feed it through the selfie stick, set your height if you need to, tighten it to where you want, and then lastly, secure the final suction cup. Make sure everything is tightened. Here we're using the Insta360 X3 to film. I definitely recommend pairing the X3 with this car mount to get the best 360 footage. While we're at it, we're also gonna test it on our rental car. We got the Insta360 X3 mounted, suction cup on, and we're gonna head over to Spocom. So for my last test, I wanted to mount it on my Type R. Mounting 360 cameras on this car has always been tricky because of the rear spoiler here. It's in an awkward position. It's right in the middle of the glass. We also have glass down here, but I think with the new Insta360 suction cups, it should make it very easy now. Place the base first right above and then give it a few pumps, pump, 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 and that's it. Just some quick pumps and the metal base is on there. We have the carbon fiber selfie stick. Insert it into the base. Now normally this is where the issue is. I can't raise it much higher, otherwise it'll hit the spoiler. If I put it up here, the POV is not as good. We'll just have to play around with the angle. And because of this glass down here, that's actually gonna be perfect. We'll take advantage of that and use the bottom suction cup. Pump, pump, pump. And because this is telescoping, we have so much adjustment. I couldn't do this before with my DIY setup. Just go ahead and tighten everything. And look at that, problem solved. Okay, so final thoughts. I think it's the only suction cup car mount you're ever gonna need. The whole system is so well thought out and there's so much adjustability at each corner. I can get the perfect camera angle no matter what car it's on. I hope someday in the future, AI will make the suction cups completely invisible. However, if you want to edit out the visible parts, you still can. It just takes some masking and editing to erase it. As far as pricing, the dual mount is $249.99 and the triple mount is $399.99. The action invisible selfie stick is $49.99. The X3 is honestly the best camera to pair with this suction cup system and you can get the entire X3 car kit for $899.97. All the links will be in the description below, so please check them out. That's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.